Do you need some strategies to help you grow your Instagram account? Maybe what you're doing is not working for you. Maybe you're brand new to Instagram. That's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to walk you through, if I was to start an Instagram account today in 2022, what I would do and what I would avoid. I've been on Instagram since 2019, and in those three years, I grew my account to more than 183,000 followers. But in the beginning, I did a lot of bad things and followed a lot of bad advice. I'm gonna make sure you don't do that and you do the stuff that's going to grow your account and grow your business. First thing you need to do is look at the top of your Instagram account. Look at your handle name and the image in your profile picture and the name on your account. The account handle and the name section are two places where you want keywords. So maybe people aren't necessarily looking for your name, but something that you do. It's why I have video strategy in my name section. Video coach is also in my name section. So if people were to search that, I would pop up. You need to make sure you have a title in the name section with your name. So often people don't put their first name in the bio and it's very frustrating when someone is trying to respond to your DM, they can't find your name anywhere. It's really nice to have that name in the name section because when we reply to the DMs, we can address you by your name and we're more likely to remember you as is the picture. It's going to also help us remember who you are when we can actually see your face. So make sure it is a headshot of you looking at the camera with a smile. We don't need to see your logo. We don't need to see your products. We need to see your face. The next thing that needs to be in your bio is a breakdown of what people can expect if they were to follow you. Do not take this as an opportunity to talk about yourself. Instead, break down who you help and the problem that you solve and what they will get if they were to follow you. What kind of tips are they going to get? What kind of hacks? What kind of information? Because as soon as they land on your account, they're asking, what can you do for them? And if it's not obvious in the bio, they're less likely to follow you. You don't want your clutter to distract from your message. You don't have to have a perfect space. You just have to frame an uncluttered space. Just doing some behind the scenes for my stories. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. Your stories. You will hear people say your stories are there to nurture your existing audience, and that's true. But your stories can also help you get someone to follow you if you are consistent with them and you're putting valuable information in your stories, like behind the scenes, like tips, like inspiration, like resources that you use that help you do what it is that you do. And when someone goes there and they see that, that's more evidence that you do deliver on the promise that you made in your bio to help them with those certain problems that you have solutions to. Same goes for your highlights. If you use your highlights to take some of those tips that you put in your stories and collect them there, if you use your highlights to show that you are giving people results with your client testimonials, if you're using your highlights to share your story of how you got from where you were to where you are now to show that you are an expert in your industry. All of those things are gonna help that new person who landed on your account discover you, get to know you, and see why they should follow you. Here's a really helpful highlight for you to help people understand exactly what you offer, whether it's your product or your service. Have a start here highlight. Let me show you mine. It's right here. And you go in and I explain exactly what I do, the problem that I solve. Then I break it down into what my different services are and my different products. And I explain it very briefly. That way people know what you're all about and how you can help them at the very beginning. How do you keep that start here button in the front? Let me show you. So you go to your stories, you select any random story and you hit start here. You add that story to the start here highlight. Now it is at the beginning of your highlights and to get rid of that random video, then you just go in, you hit edit highlight, you go down to that random video and you unselect it, done. Now it's no longer part of your start here button. Now let's move on down your account. Now let's get to the grid and a common question people have is, does my feed need to be curated? Does it need to look perfect? And the answer is no, it does not need to look perfect. People just wanna know what they're gonna get from your account. So what you do need to do is make it very clear on your content that you are giving them information that they want. That's going to come across in titles on your graphics, titles on your reels, 
cover images. You don't have to have perfect cover images, but make sure you have a clear title, even if it's just the thumbnail of that reel, in a text bubble so they can easily see it. And you don't have to make it perfectly curated, but I will tell you, it is nice to have a filter that you use on all of your pictures so they look the same. And one, mm, two to four colors that are continually running through that theme, just so that it looks like it's all related and it goes together. But long gone are the days where you have to worry about having a perfectly aesthetic looking feed, like that tic-tac-toe. That's what it's called, yes, tic-tac-toe. I used to have that, see? I used to go every other image, then graphic, image, then graphic. That will set you up for a lot of heartache and headache, and it's not worth it. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, which is the content of your account. And remember, the content is going to solve the problems you promised to solve in your bio. You have your main problem, and then you also have problems related to that main problem. That's how you're going to develop your content categories. You need to have three to five, and you're going to rotate through those so that you can position yourself as an authority and relate to your ideal person. And you want to be posting seven days a week. If you're in growth mode, you need to be uber consistent if you are trying to get your content in front of new people so that you can build your audience. You also wanna be using Reels. Reels is the number one type of content that's going to help you get your content in front of people who are not following you yet. So four to six of your posts in one week should be a Reel. Your other type of content, carousel posts. That's the second best way to get your content in front of people who are not following you yet. You need to post one carousel post a week that's going to help position you as an authority in your field. Educate your ideal person. Next up, you need to go live. Live with other people notifies those people's accounts, those people's followers, that they are live and that's gonna get you in front of them. That means more eyeballs on you. And you want to use the new collaboration features that allow you to do reels with other people so that you can again get you in front of more people who are not following you. Just make sure these lives and collabs have to do with the problems that you solve. Random videos are not going to help you. You want to make sure you are constantly positioning yourself as the go-to person in your industry, which means most of your content needs to be how-to content. In the beginning, when you are in growth mode, how-to content is what's going to give people what I like to call an aha moment. They see your video and they're like, oh, aha, I didn't think of that, I've got to try that. Hold up, future Virginia here just watching this, I need to clarify something. Yes, how-to content will establish you as an authority, but just giving tips, giving vague tips, is not going to get people remembering you. Remember, we want you to stand out and set yourself apart from your competition, so you need to call people out on things that you don't buy into, things that are happening in your industry that you don't believe in. You wanna make sure your ideal person sees you not only helping them with things, but also standing for things that you believe in in your industry. That's what's going to stop them in their tracks and think, huh, never thought of it that way. That aha moment is what's going to get them to come back to your account for more. You also wanna make sure you're using trending audio with these reels. When you are in growth mode and you are a small account, you want to get the algorithm to push your content out in front of as many people as possible. It doesn't mean you have to do trends, but using trending sounds is more likely to get you pushed out in front of more people who are not following you. How do you know what trending sounds are? Two ways. One way is you're gonna see that little arrow at the bottom left of your screen when you watch someone's reel, that means that that's a trending audio. Another way to know that an audio is trending is to scroll the reels page and when you hear the same sound three to four times, that's a trending audio. Now let's talk about how you're going to build community. It's one thing to have people following you, but if they don't feel like they're part of a community, they're less likely to continue to go back to your account. So how do you do that? One way you can do that is to make sure you are responding to all of the comments people leave under your post. You also wanna make sure you are putting engagement stickers in your stories and asking questions with the poll sticker, the question sticker, the quiz sticker, anything that's going to create a two-way conversation 
conversation to get people to feel like they are part of the conversation. I also like to use audio messages when I reply to people in my DMs because it's much more personable and it's not expected, so it leaves a good impression. You can also use video messages. Also with the community, if you have had an account for a while and you've noticed that your growth has fallen off, sometimes we get into the habit of assuming people have been following us for a while and we talk to our audience like they already know us or like they've seen all of our content. So we don't go back to the content that we used in the beginning to build our audience. If you're trying to grow your audience, that means people don't know you when they come to your account. So you don't want to assume that they know you and you don't want to assume that they've scrolled through all of your content. You've gotta find ways to remix your old content. Meaning, take the same topic from a post or a video that did well and remix that topic. Doesn't mean it's gonna look the same. You're going to use a different way to tell that story. For instance, maybe you just gave tips. Maybe you turned that same topic into a character reel. Or maybe you turn a character reel into a reel where you just give tips or you just point at text bubbles. But take the same topic that you used in the beginning to grow your account and remix it so it looks different, but it still gives the same lesson. You want to give this a couple of months to really get in the groove and start to see the results. You can't do this for a week or two and expect you to have all this growth at once. This takes time. The shelf life of a reel is three weeks, so you could create a reel that takes off three weeks from now. You've gotta be patient. Focus on the process and the results will follow. If you just focus on the results and that follower count, you are going to get really frustrated and you're going to quit before you even really got started. If you want to learn how to take everything that I talked about today and turn it into a strategy that makes you money on Instagram, you wanna watch this video right here. I walk you through the phases of video content creation that will help you not only grow your account, but convert your followers into customers and clients.